I'm Pete Sesco. This is Fear Factor. The stunts you are about to see were all designed and supervised by trained professionals. They are extremely dangerous and should not be attempted by anyone, anywhere, anytime. I can tell we're going to have a lot of fun with this. Welcome back. Thanks for checking in to the thrift store rundown. And yes, folks, tonight, tonight, well, nighttime I'm filming this right now. Late night, in fact. Nighttime. Today we're reviewing the Fear Factor game. Roll the dice, face your fear, and win. Oh, and regarding the quote unquote stunts. Warning no bugs. Why? This is a creepy box. I'm afraid to even touch it, but I am doing it for you guys. No dangerous stunts. There you go, there. No jumping, no swimming, no helicopters. Just hours of safe fun for the entire family. I guess my fears can be subsided. So let's open the box. Oh. Not funny. I'm afraid to even touch this. What are, what are these? Is it live? I mean, look at this. Hours of safe fun for the entire family. Oh, they really put the fear in this. Um, I can't even go near that box. That, look at this. Fear is not a factor. Let's see all this. Um, yeah. Fear factor. They definitely did a good job uh, with the game. Yeah, I'm not going to touch these with my hands. I know they're all plastic, but... I am not touching these with my hands. There's a large, large gnat. That's creeping me the heck out. See that right there? That large gnat? That one right there. See that? That is just too creepy. I hate gnats. I hate all kinds of insects. I even hate butterflies. And I'm not the only one who does. Um... Yeah, that's that big spider. Oh, I hate that. All these creepy qualies. I know they're made of plastic, but come on. Fear Factor is really impressive. They did really impressive with this game. I'm afraid to touch this. But I gotta touch it. Um, here's the die. Right there. Let's just sign a light right there. Here's the die. There's all the game cards. Um, these are the oh yeah, oh these are the die, and that's like the special piece. Again, I'm afraid to touch this. Fear factor, <laughs> impressive. I gotta take out the game, you know. I gotta take out the game board. I'll be right back. If I don't, one for my life. Fearing that one of these will, are going to you know jump on me. This is the game board. Fear factor. Is fear a factor for you? <sighs> Judging by this game board, yeah it is. Look at all this. Ah! Oh yeah, very impressive. So here's the game board. Um, move electric eels from one tank to another. Move ahead three spaces. And upside down it says, Escape head-on collision with oncoming helicopter. Switch places with any player. And there's your walk of shame right there. Um, right here it says, Jump from one speeding semi-truck to another without falling. Move ahead two spaces. Spend three minutes in a coffin with 500 tarantulas. Switch places with any player. Walk on the wing of a biplane without falling. Close your eyes. Take a stunt card from any player. Chowed out on cockroaches as if they were potato chips. And some campers do. Dead cockroaches. I saw on Fetch with Ruff Ruffman that, and yes, Fetch with Ruff Ruffman was definitely a favorite in my house. Um, that they use dead cockroaches. They eat them, you know, because of their protein. I even saw one of the contestants put them in a s'more while they were doing the camping challenge. Ew. And finish. And you win $50,000. So, that's the game board. It's uh, very, very creepy. Um, this is from Masterpieces Puzzle Company. Copyright info is right there. 
and it is trademark of NBC under license from Animal USA. How creepy is this and how dated is this? Look at the side of this. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, that's been uh, used. Where and tear. Now that's been used. That has most definitely been used. So, uh, ew. Oh, ah, uh, uh, ew. Oh, yeah. It's fear factor for me. Not when I'm watching the show, but if I'm playing the game, that's another story. Alright, let's put this back in now. I'll show you back in a bit. Oh, yeah. I'm doing the handheld right now because I don't want to touch this. The board is creepy. The hit TV show is now a game you can play at home. For two to six players, eight to seven and up. And I used to watch this when I was a kid. I want to find a Nutbrook executive that canceled Fear Factor and slap him upside his head for doing such an act on behalf of all the fans of Fear Factor. Because I relished this show when it came on. I was mesmerized every single moment. Read the stunt card, choose your challenger, and uh... Oh man. Again, at the thrift store. This was found at the thrift store. Hold on a second, I'm getting my research tool. Let's, let's, uh, look at the, yeah, I may have to do some, uh, digging. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do some, uh, box adjusting. Anyway, number three, I guess you could roll your die combo or something. Smash the spider and win the round. There you go, that's the big spider. Then, move your butt playing piece toward the finish to win. A ton of cool Fear Factor stunt cards with real images from the store are included along with six, six color-coded dice. Read aloud extreme physical actions, nauseatingly disgusting eating challenges, and gross-out stunts. Roll the dice to match the correct color combination of the stunt card on the stunt card on the stunt card, I think that's it, number two. Faster than your opponent. Smash the spider to win the round and move ahead. First fearless run to the finish line wins. Masterpieces Puzzle Company. And it is, well, don't give the exact model. And uh, scratched off there is the actual same, which uh, I said at the top of the show. And uh, the contents contain the Fear Factor game board, bug playing pieces, six dice, the spider speaker, 118 stunt cards, 20 walk of same cards, and six challenger cards. Unfortunately, oh yeah, we do have the cards. Well, this Fear Factor for me, it says to squeak the spider to win the round. So my friends, I'm afraid to touch this, but that's exactly what we're gonna do. Squeak the spider. If I die, tell my, uh, please tell Jocelyn Davis I love her. Even the squeaking noise is scary. Oh, forget it. I'd rather be watching the show than playing it, but you know what? If you, my friends out there on the internet, excuse me, I'm sorry about that. If you, my friends on the internet, um, were to present this as a, at family game night with your, you know, annoying brothers who love watching Fear Factor, if you succeed in getting along with them because of this, then my friends, fear is not a factor for you. You guys take care, thanks for joining me, and hey, you never know what you're going to find, even if it peeps you out to the point where you never want to watch the show again. But I kind of miss it, especially the theme music. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. See you later.